baggage handlers at the airport have their part to play in keeping air travel safe. One of the things I like to do is carry out my own personal security checks. Not part of our official remit, is it, Dad? No, boy, but I feel it gives the public peace of mind, you know. All right, what we got here? Yeah, that one looks good. Which one? Yeah, the Louis Vuitton, yeah. That All right. One, yeah. Right, OK. Oh, it's got a lock on it. Ah, that's no bother. There we go. Right. Oh, hello. Yeah, you see now, very common is the laptop. This could have illegal images on it, so we'll uh, take that home for further analysis. Right, what else we got? Oh, hello. Gucky. Now, the thing about the shoes, you can have explosive devices in the heels, so uh, we'll also take them home. Plus, they're my size. Here we go. Very common problem, this, the iPod, yeah. Now, you're not allowed to have these on, on takeoff or landing. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to use it. It'll all be in the hold. Right, the principal, son. Right, what we got in here? What's it? Chain L, pour on. No, you're not allowed liquids on board, so, uh, yeah, we can set that down there. Oh, it's an aerosol in here. You're not allowed them. We should take that out. Hey? Eh? We're not going to get nothing for that down the market, are we? Silly sod. Right. That one's good to go. Although the strike is grounded on flying planes, other airlines are operating as normal. On this great British airplane to Florida, economy is packed, but first class is deserted. Well, it was going to be a quiet day anyway. We only had two passengers booked into first class, and the passengers in question have just cancelled, which is a dreadful shame. Hi, Penny, did you get the message? Yeah, such a pity they cancelled. No, 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 no. The message about helping us out in economy? Piss off. Penny hasn't had to work in economy for 20 years, but today she has no choice. When you draw back the curtain, uh, the first thing that really hits you is the stench. And it's the stench of the working man. I mean, they're virtually like apes. You know, so if you, if you come at them with some food, they start attacking you. Hot towel? Hot towel? Hot towel? I'm all right, thanks. No, you should take a hot towel. I, I don't want it. No, you need to take it. I told you no. Right. <clears throat> yeah. What? Ugh. Hot towel? Shepherd's pile mushroom risotto. It's two hours into the flight to Florida, Shepherd's and Penny is struggling to come to terms with her new environment. Oh, don't touch me! The noise, the people. There's only one word to describe them. Savages. And I just poked my head in the lavatorium. It's positively medieval in there. Ladies and people of cattle class, may I have your attention, please? I have just returned from an inspection of the onboard convenience, and one of you has left it in a revolting state. Who didn't flush? Come on, who didn't flush? It was someone who had the mushroom risotto. Hands up if you had the mushroom risotto. This whole frightful situation would never occur in first class. People in first class don't forget to flush. They're very diligent flushers, and if they do, it doesn't matter, because their stools are perfectly formed and odour-free. Our Lady Air cabin crew member, Fergal, is desperate to win the Steward of the Year competition. But on today's flight to Barcelona, he's being less than attentive as he's waiting for the nominations to be announced. Well, you're not supposed to have your phone on during the flight. It can interfere with the aircraft's navigation system and could cause the plane to crash. But this is obviously a very important call. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying Our Lady Air. We're about to begin our descent, so please fasten your seatbelts and say three Hail Mary. Excuse me? Yes? We've only been in the air for 40 minutes. We can't be landing in Barcelona yet. No, we are. We're landing at Shannon, Barcelona. Shannon, Barcelona? That's it. But Shannon's an island. Yes, madam. In order to keep our fare prices competitive, we do sometimes land at airports a little further away from the city centre. But we're landing in Ireland. That's nowhere near Barcelona. Oh, no, don't worry. A short coach transfer to your final destination is included in the price of your ticket. Shannon to Ross Lair, catch the ferry, down at Dover, over to Calais, through France, across the Pyrenees, and into Barcelona in time for your evening meal. Which evening? Tuesday. That's absolutely... Uh, excuse me, can you watch your language, please, madam? No, I'm just... I don't want to have to use the restraints. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Can you turn the thrusters down? I can hardly hear. Thank you. Yes? Really? Oh, well, that's fantastic news. Thank you so much. I'll see you there. Yes! Excuse me. Yeah? You're not allowed to use mobile phones on an aeroplane. I could report you for that. Oh, really? Well, I've just been nominated for Steward of the Year. So shove that up your fat arse. Meanwhile, in baggage handling, the strike is having an unexpected effect. I'm all for going on strike, me. We don't work for Flylo, Dad. Yeah, but solidarity, though, innit, boy? With my Flylo brothers. Well, what about all those cases from Lufthansa? No, nah, point the principle. Won't touch them. Right, I'm off. Where are you going? Going home, boy. Well, when you get home, can you do your washing up? No, nah, mate. I'm on strike, innit? I? It's 10 a.m. and back down on the ground, the airport's flying school has a very nervous visitor. Would you like to come in now, please? Happy Burger employee Tommy is determined to follow his dream of becoming a pilot. And today, he has a make-or-break interview at the flying school. Great. Name? Tommy. Tommy what? Tommy Reed. Age? 20. 22. Two. 22. Aye. Current occupation? Burgess. And what is your main responsibility? Oh, buns. Qualifications. Do you have any GCSEs? Uh, well, you see, we don't have GCSEs in Scotland. We just have standards. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have any standards? No. Do you have any hobbies or interests? No. Come on. Must be able to think of something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Finally, do you have any medical conditions that would prevent you from becoming a pilot? Fear of flying. I think it went really well. In fact, I didn't think it could have gone much better. I wouldn't be surprised if they let me fly a plane tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> did I get it? Sorry? Did I get it? We'll write to you. Oh, no, don't do that. I can't read. I think I got it. At the pub, Ray has decided to host a quiz in a last-ditch effort to keep his customers for more than six minutes. Psychic George Carter. Don't shout it out, just write it down. Question 42. A sporting teaser for you. How many Darkest Championships has Eric Bristow won? Question 43. Cockney duo Chaz and Dave had four top ten hits. Can you name them? Come back here. Right. Where are you going? Right, leave it. What nickname was given to the former England cricket captain, Ian Botham? Get off me, woman! Right, you've got a plane to catch. The popular Irish broadcaster was the first presenter of the BBC One quiz show, Blankety Blank. Hey! Who played Aunt Sally in Wurzel Gummidge? Hey! How many years has EastEnders been running? Hey! Who wrote the Daily Mail cartoon strip Fred Bassett? Hey! Miss Carry On Radio starred in Bless This House. Who played Mayor Flatwood in Coronation Street? Which celebrity hairdresser wearing a safety from Chris Lulu? Penny's flight to New York is just minutes from takeoff. Oh, look at her. Disgusting little piggy. Oh, look at him guzzling champagne like some filthy backstreet wino. Hmm, excuse me. Would you take a photo of us, please? Right, that's it. Right, what have we done wrong? Lewd behaviour. Excuse me? Loutishness, coarseness, and all round general euclism. Come on, on your feet, chop, chop, out. Uh, we're not going anywhere. You've been nothing but rude to us since the moment we got here. Air rage, air rage, air rage, air rage. Unfortunately, I had no option but to have those two passengers ejected from the plane. Stand up, please. Stand up for me, please, My recommendation will be that they are banned from all future air travel. So perhaps next time they're on a plane, they'll think about their behaviour. 
Well, they won't be on a plane, but you know what I mean. Tommy came to the airport to pursue his dream of becoming a pilot, but so far he's only made it as far as Happy Burger. Yeah, it's going really well. I'm not a pilot just yet, but I have got three stars on my name badge. Uh, this one was for being here a week. This one was for putting the cheese into cheeseburgers, and this one was for mopping up sick. In fact, they're so impressed with me, they've actually made me be assistant supervisor, so now it's my job to train up the new staff. Can I have a burger, please? Burger? Burger. Press burger? Press burger. Onion rings? Onion rings. Onion rings. Press onion rings? Press onion rings. I do still like to have the supervisor with me, just to make sure I'm doing it right. Fries? Fries. Fries. What size fries? What fries size? What fries fries? Small. 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 Press small then. Press small then. Strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake. Chocolate milkshake. No, strawberry milkshake. No strawberry milkshake. No strawberry milkshake. I have to be careful though. If I get too many stars, there's a danger I may become overqualified to be a pilot. Can I have the code for the toilet, please? Can I have the code for the toilet, please? Can I have the code for the toilet, please? 295. 